Okay. 10.3. If you remember the rules of exponents, the same rules apply to logarithms because they're inverses of each other. So what I mean by that is if we have log m times m, remember with exponents, it's addition. Okay. We, if we have the base same like bases and we're multiplying like bases, we add the exponent. So that's why this is true. We're going to add them because we're multiplying like bases. Okay. So here's, let me show you how to do this one. So we have an approximation here of this and this. And I want to know, well, what's log five, base five of six? So log base five of six, I have to figure out a way to make log base five of six into two and three somehow. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm first going to say, well, I could really write it as log base five of two times three. Now, because of this rule, I can rewrite it as log base 5, 2, plus log base 5 of 3. And the reason I want it 2 and 3 is because that's what I knew up here. That's what I gave you. So I'm going to say, well, log base, let me rewrite it here so you can see it. Now I'm going to just um, substitute in what I know the equivalent of these logs are. So log base 5 of 2 up here I gave you was 0 0.4307 and we're going to add that to the decimal that's equivalent to log base 5 of 3 and that's 0 0.6826. When we add those two together that gives us our solution for this and it's 1.1133. I should have given you more room there. The same rule applies just like in exponents, when we divide like bases, we subtract the exponents. So if we, if we divide logs, we subtract, okay? So let's do the next one. Same thing is true here. This gives you a hint. I'm giving you log base of six, log base six of eight and log base six of 32. And I want to know log base six of four. So there must be a way to rewrite four with a 32 and an eight. So you're going to have to think about this logically. Let me give myself more room this time. So log base of 6 of 4. You could rewrite that as log base 6 of 32 divided by 8. Why did I pick 32 and 8? Because that's what I gave you. I didn't just randomly pick that. That's what was given to you. So there must have been a way to manipulate 32 and 8 to make it into a 4. And then I can rewrite this as a log subtraction. 32 minus log subtract... 8, because that's the rules, if we have division, we can subtract the logs, just like if we have like bases, we subtract exponents. So now we know the two decimal equivalents, and we just subtract them to get our final answer. And that's going to be approximately 0 0.7737. Okay, now the next one is just like before. If we had a power to a power, we multiplied. Same thing here. Power to a power, we can put the exponent out front and multiply it. Okay, so we're kind of just doing the inverse of what we used to do. So then when we look at this one here, I gave you this. I need this. So there must be a way to write 216 with a, making it a 6 and a power because the only thing I gave you was this. So I went and I looked, and I started messing around with 6 to what power? Well, log base 5 of 216 can be written log base 5 of 6 to the third. Why did I want for 6s? Because the 6 is what I gave you. So that's what we needed to get that to. We can't substitute yet. We have to use the rule of power to a power is multiplication. So 3 goes out front and gets multiplied by log base 5 of 6. So now we do three times the equivalent, the decimal equivalent of log base five of six, and that's 1.1133. And so my answer there is 3.3399. We can go the other way, okay? So this one, I can't cancel these out like that. It has to be a log equal to a log. You can't have two. So that subtraction is a problem right now. So we have to rewrite it so it's not a subtraction problem. But the first thing I notice is I have a 4 out on the front here. 
Well, how can I write that so it goes back into a log state? Well, log base 2 x to the fourth, because if we're doing a power to a power, we multiply. Well, that's what we're doing there. So I'm moving it back over as an exponent. Okay, then I have log base two of five. That didn't fix everything. I still have two logs on one side, so I can't cancel yet. Well, what did I tell you? If we're dealing with logs, that's the same as we can put them together as a division problem. So this would be log base of two x to the fourth over five. And that's log base two of 125. Now we have log equal log. Once we have log equal log, we can do this. And now we have just an algebraic problem, a basic algebraic, x to the fourth over 5 equals 125. So we solve So we solve that by multiplying both sides by 5. So we have x to the fourth equals 625. I hope you remember the opposite of the fourth. We're going to take the fourth power of each side, the fourth root, I'm sorry, of each side. That undoes x to the fourth, and the fourth root of 625 is x equals 5. So we have just discovered, we have just come on to a whole new set of rules for solving equations. And that we still follow our basic rules, but now we have new ones. So I think that's cool. I know you probably don't, but I do. So again, let's look at this one. Well, we have a log and a log. We can't cancel anything out. I don't know what to do with the two over there. Well, let's see, let's start doing something. Well, we just learned about combining. If there are they're positive pluses in between them, that means it's really multiplication. X times X minus 12 equals two. Well, now I don't know what to do. There's no logs on each side to cancel out or anything like that. If you get stuck and you don't know what to do, change forms from section one. So we're going to change forms from logarithm form to exponential. Our base here is eight. If you remember, our base is eight. Our exponent is two. So these two switch sides. And then this becomes x times x minus 12. Now we can solve this. And this is actually, I'm going to come down here because you need the room because we're going to have a quadratic. If you have a quadratic, it's, I'm going to make it factorable. So the first thing I'm going to do is this, x squared, my, and you can see how all of the algebra we've done all year is just coming together so beautifully. We're going to subtract 64 from both sides. Now we have a beautiful quadratic that is factorable. I'm not going to take the time to teach you how to factor. If you don't know how to factor, you need to go learn. So we have x minus 16 and x plus 4. And when I say go learn, I'm like, come ask me. Look on the videos. Talk to your um, to p other math teachers. We can all teach you how to factor. You just need to come ask. Now I need to solve this. x minus 16, 0 product property equals 0. And x plus 4 equals 0. So we get x equals 16. And x equals negative 4. Now be careful. Go back and check to make sure we're not taking the log of a negative. So if you go very back to the very beginning of this problem, we have a log of x here. So because of that x there, log cannot be negative. So that x cannot be negative. I also want to check to make sure if I put 16 into it that we're not taking a negative. So I go back up here and I put a 16 here. Well, 16 minus 12, that's positive, so we're good. So the only answer is x equals 16. Again, this takes a lot of practice, so please take your time and practice, and if you get stuck, come see me and I will help you. Or write me a note on your homework in Canvas and I will get it and I will respond. Okay, this is a lot of brand new information and you are going to need this next year in AQR and in pre-calc, so you have to get this stuff.